The Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said, Remember often the destroyer of pleasure by which he means death. Because we, when we remember our final destination, we kind of think of the good choices that we should take in our life. There's a lot of things more important than a, than a nice car, than a nice house, than, you know, nice everything, paying bills, you know, all be in a circle, living, running after the money and not worship Allah because we are on this hurt to worship Allah. And yesterday I was speaking with um, a little brother of mine and he said that he just learned in school that actually when, he's, when we are watching the stars, but those stars are already dead. And it takes many light years for us to see those those stars and he said that even if the sun dies like let's say explode it will take ap approximately seven days for us to see that it actually exploded you know and that just made me think about the promise of Allah you know that the day of the judgment is near then paradise and hell already exist so maybe the end of judgment already happened, but what we are seeing right now, it's in the past. So it's a little bit crazy, but we are living right now in the present, but what we are seeing is the past. So maybe, just maybe, the day of judgment already came, already is already happening right now, but we don't see it because we see the past. And you know, and you, what you want to do? is just watch movies and watch Instagram stories and Snapchat, you know, listen to music and chill with your friends. Wow, the day of judgment might be just near or maybe just there. You know, like I said, imagine, just imagine. Imagine you die right now. Are you in peace? Are you in peace with yourself? Imagine, imagine. Let's 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 this. Let's listen to the brother Mo Bona Muhammad. He touched my heart, Subhanallah. Listen to what he said. Perfectly on cue, two angels enter your grave, sit you up, and ask you, "Who is your Lord?" But in this world. You only worshipped you, obedient to your desires, a slave to your own views. What is your religion? What is your religion? <laughs> Don't say it was this deen. Is it? Your last name never stopped you from your wicked routines. Is it true? Who is your prophet? Who's your prophet? You heard the people say his name, but you never stopped to defend him when they spoke it in vain. You didn't pray the long nights. You didn't fast the long true? days. You didn't even bother trying to seek forgiveness for mistakes. You didn't have any fear. You weren't sincere. That Quran on your bookshelf was just a souvenir. When is the last time you read? clear that you love this place and never thought you would have to witness what awaits well get ready for your fate the promise of your lord is great when you have brought right back forth from that dirt you came and make no mistake the scale make makes no, no mistake indeed every deed shall receive its due weight so deceive as you please until you see it's too late you would squeeze the seven seas for the chance to prostrate where are your american idols let them keep you safe or yeah. perhaps you will find mercy in the money you chase why why couldn't you just stop to take a break and see into your future? Why can you just stop and take a break 
and see into your future. Just stop it, take a break. Swallow. Think, think, you have a brain. <laughs> But now look at you. You are the definition of a loser. Do you want to be the definition of a loser? Or do you want to win and to have success? And the real success is paradise. What do you want? Doomed to dwell in hell. Oh well, at least it suits you. Every moment awake, you receive your reward to feed on a fire whose fuel is men and stones, boiling pus in chains and yokes, skin ripped from flesh, from flesh till bones, begging the keepers of hell to lighten the load. But this is exactly what you asked. You chose a torment. You refused to repent. You had the answers to the test and you still didn't prep for That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. As Muslim, we have the answer of the test. You know, that when we die, we're going to be asked by the angel, you know, in the grave, three questions. We have the answers. We have the answers. And most of us will fail. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? Spawn. For eternity you will rest in the lowest depth. Step by step, I must confess, you're dying. But you haven't died yet. You're not die you're not dead yet. But with every single heartbeat. Every single RB. You get closer to your final breath. You get closer to death. Yesterday, you were one day closer to your grave. Today, who even knows if you'll make it home okay? I just pray that you are ready for your final exam. Until that day, don't you dare die except in a state. Islam. Don't you dare die except in a state of Islam. May Allah guys, that's all.